Hello everyone, welcome back for some more thrift store finds and I had a great morning to cap off the week, start the weekend with listing a ton of books. Uh, went to the normal Goodwill that I go to all the time, didn't really find a lot, nothing exciting enough to even put on a video, but on the way home I stopped by a 50% off sale day which I was expecting to not find a lot because normally I'd just been there the day before, normally don't put a whole lot out, but boy was I wrong this time. I went in and they had a bunch of books, a whole section where they were grouped in plastic bags and they had five for ten dollars for a bunch of paperback books. And with what I found, I already would have grabbed them for that price. But it was half price day, so it was five for five dollars, and I found many bags of Warhammer books crazy amount. I was super excited. These are always cool to find. They are always fast sellers for me, so these will probably not last long. Uh, but first, starting off with these Omnibus editions, I found a whole collection of those, some of which I've never even seen. But we have the Ultramarines, Omnibus, the Soul Drinkers, a lot of these uh, Dan Abnett ones we've had before, the Saint, actually read that one a long time ago, the Founding, and we have uh, Hero of the Imperium, Cyphus Kane. We've sold that one before, uh, a couple times actually. And The Last Chancers. This one I have not seen before. So all those omnibus editions, and then stacks after stacks of individual ones. We have from the Horus Heresy, a whole bunch from the Horus Heresy. We have a whole set here. The Thousand Suns, and they're all in really good condition. Well, I'd say nine out of ten of these are in like pristine, like new condition. A couple more Horus Rising, False Gods, and Galaxy in Flames. So we're up to like nine. We have, I mean, nine, about twenty something individual paperbacks, and then all of those omnibus, and it was just an insane deal. I couldn't believe what I found. And the funny thing was, as I went in, because I went to those other places first, it was a few minutes after opening, and it was packed. It was half price day on everything. Normally it's half price on a specific color of the week, uh, but today it was half price on anything in the store. So I had to park over by uh, like a different store, like down past like where there's like a mattress firm, uh, over by Lowe's. I couldn't even park there just a few minutes late. So I was like, there weren't any carts. So I found all these, and I had these in my arms, all these books, and luckily they were in these bags. Uh, we have 15 hours, but I was able to get a box from one of the people up at the counter. Uh, that's, that was easy. Salamander. Heroes of the Space Marines. This is a pretty cool cover here. We have Gav Thorpe's Angels of Darkness. Secrets of the Dark Angels Revealed. And then Path of the Warrior. And we got a few more stacks here. Kane's Last Stand, Emperor's Legacy, Duty Calls, another Kane's Last Stand. I think it might be my only double. I think only I think it's the only double I have. Uh, but we have a couple of Gaunt's the Gaunt's Ghost novels, some of the individual ones there. Double Eagle, Grey Knights, Hammer of Demons, and we got one left. It's a cool cover design. It's kind of octopusy thing. I don't recognize that at all. Uh, but that is cool. So that was my insane haul at that one place. And there are a few other, um, other you know, non Warhammer books that I found. Uh, the Practice Effect, David Breen, and a few Star Wars that were in like absolutely perfect, pristine condition. I don't think these were ever read. There's no way that spine is that nice after not reading it. You know, Dark Saber, Shadows of the Empire. And the Crystal Star, those are all ones that I've read before that were good. And all of those. Then I made one more stop on the way home because I was just excited with everything that I found, kind of on a high. And on the way home, there is a really tiny Goodwill, just, you know, uh, tucked away in this little shopping center that I don't go to very often because it's almost always a waste of time. But it's one of those places that draws you in because once it's in a blue moon, you do find something. You go like once a month and like once or twice a year you find something. Today was something interesting. Not crazy incredible, but it was funny and it was again a really good find and I just happened to be, they run sales sometimes with a certain color of the week and usually it's it's nothing. I almost never get the color. Uh, it rarely happens. But today I was like, wow, these are 50% off. I'm grabbing all of these. We found a whole bunch of these 
erotic paranormal romance books you never know with those you have to kind of look up a few and because sometimes there's just nothing it says like Alora's cave i know to grab it um uh, there are a few others that it's like all right but these were in big bags like i grabbed all of these i looked a few of them up and like it was well worth it these were in uh big bags for four dollars so i was like four bucks for those all right and then we have a whole collection of the lords of Seder. a whole other set of that it was also four bucks and then this other bag which was huge for four bucks this whole stack right here so those were definitely worth the grab the kind of things that individually yeah, i'd always pass by but you look them up and in those big grab bags that's okay that, that's cool that's great uh so i came home with an enormous stack of books i can't believe all of these warhammer especially these big omnibus books and like how many individual ones crazy i've never seen that many at once and i've had some pretty big pickups of warhammer before but nothing like this and just happened to be 50 percent off at both places that i went and grabbed stuff so i was able to um yeah just come home with i don't even know how many pounds worth of fantastic book finds great way to end the week hope you guys have a great weekend and i'll see you in the next video